Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Building a Biplane. Uh, today I'm going to show you this process of how I cut um, some pieces for the aileron hinge that goes in the wing. And uh, so looking at the plans here, you can see this vertical piece um, with the angled cuts on the end is um, the sort of, the, I've been calling it the base piece. And then the base piece has these two arms, the long arm and the short arm. Uh, that all gets welded together, but in order to make this, I need to make sure that all of these pieces are exactly the same um, so that they fit properly up to their mating pieces. And to do that, I've decided to automate things a little bit. Not automate exactly, but to do the same operation over and over again with as little setup as possible. And so now, where I am is I've got my sample piece here. Um, and the sample piece has all of the operations done to it that I wanted to get done. You can see it has the holes and it has the angles cut and it's been relieved to let a bolt fit pass through. And here, let me show you what the bolt passing through looks like. That's when I get to work with one hand. So this is the bolt that I'm working with. It's a AN3 bolt, uh, aircraft bolt and It passes through. I really need to get a tripod for doing this. It passes through like that so that it sits nicely inside the diameter of this square tubing. And this is 4130 uh, half inch square tubing with 0.065 inch wall. Um, and the issue is that, or the, one of the issues I'm dealing with, is that this tubing, the 0.065 wall, is bigger, is thicker than the 0.049 that is called for in the plans. And the 049 would be great because this bolt head would pass nicely in. Once again, one-handed, there we go. It would pass in like that, like it's supposed to, without needing any further work. However, as you can see here, I've done a little bit of cutting on the inside to make it the right size for the bolt head. So you can see it goes from a very smooth uh, surface to this kind of rough mill finish surface a little bit further in. And you can see here that it's been, come on, focus. You can see here that it's been cut back uh, with a circular cutter. And so this is the finished piece. And this is one of the in progress pieces where I've cut the angle now. And I'm now cutting back the relief for the bolt head to pass in and fit properly. And so this is the setup. Um, you can see one of the pieces is in here. I've got a pair of parallels, which you can see here, which support this piece at exactly the right height. And then this cutter goes in and cuts along, and it's exactly centered in the center of this piece. So it cuts along both sides uh, to 3 eighths inch wide, and then it cuts back a little bit into uh, the top and gives it that relief to let the point of the bolt head fit in. So what the power looks like is I put the parallels in, and I put in the piece to be cut, tighten it down, cinch it down nice and hard, Just like that.